hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Lumenintlebela and this is the sign that you should subscribe to the channel by now and uh, to all my returning subscribers hi guys how are you guys doing and i'm so hyped so amped to do this video treat for you guys because i'm back with another <laughs> video that's going to help you guys strive for whatever it is that you are aiming for in your life so today's video you guys is all about the four pack the four important things that you should have in your life and um to help you guys grow and try out new things as i always say so the four pack right it's the four pack that i'm going to be giving you guys is very crucial so in the four pack we have letting go meditation setting boundaries and finding your happiness all of these things you guys you need to have in your lives so we're going to start with the first one which is meditation uh meditation helps you quiet down your thoughts okay before i get in deep with uh meditating if you don't understand the simple concept of what meditating is or meditation you might want to google it first because this is literally just going to go over your head don't take offense to it just <laughs> if you don't understand what it the simple concept of it you might want to just google it and then come back to this video and get this real so when it comes to meditation meditation helps you clear or quiet down your thoughts meaning the only voice that is allowed in your head is your own voice because some of you guys can never be practical with the things you do or the decisions that you take because you've got too many voices in your head and you're going around in circles literally just jumping into conclusions without having the correct understanding of what's really happening i hope that didn't go over your head and stuff because the minute you have too many voices in your head in your mind that's when you start second guessing yourself that's when you start doubting yourself and the minute you start doubting yourself pertaining whatever it is that you are trying to do being it in relationship work school or whatnot the minute you start doubting yourself that's when everything collapses literally in your mind because you are not trusting yourself right so meditation so meditation helps a lot with trusting yourself listening to yourself a bit more and understanding what it is that is actually going on so what i do is when it comes to uh meditating is that every morning like twice a week every morning before i go to school or whatnot i wake up and i read you know the bible and then i pray about it like i pray about what i've read and just asking for wisdom clarity understanding and basically strength for whatever it is that i'm about to face that day or you know down the line and i just sit i just sit right here on my bed and i just face the ceiling and i just i literally just process everything in my life what's going on and literally just listening to myself talk i talk to myself a lot in the mirror and just to gain understanding so the minute i take decisions my head is clear because i know what i want and i know what i come from or been from and i try and take decisions based on understanding and wanting to know more and do better so meditation is all about quieting down your thoughts not having your boyfriends your mothers or your cousins or whatever brothers opinion in your head because the minute you want to take a critical decision i'm not saying that you shouldn't um listen or ask or ask for advice from you know people and whatnot but all i'm saying is meditation is all about quieting down your thoughts you cannot it's all about not talking about it and also not thinking about it do you get what i mean i hope that didn't go over your head because it's all about just clearing your head and just being in that moment 
and actually just being one with self it's it's, it's like it's a, how can i okay i can't really <laughs> come up with you know a quick example right now but it's just all about just being in tune with self and knowing that all the answers that you need pertaining the things that you want to do regarding self you have the answers to it that's what meditation is all about so so moving on to the next thing which is finding your happiness okay what i mean about finding your happiness is doing things with self without other people like without family friends your partner it's just all about you when i when, okay what do i mean by this um travel like twice a year i'm not saying go to an exotic location everyone's pockets are different but all i'm saying is just travel uh twice a year to um to any destination environment that you see that you can afford take yourself to a restaurant okay the, the, there's this one time i took myself to this nice restaurant in santon and i really just wanted to enjoy my own company and just i think that's when i started like working on myself a bit more and just wanted to see if i like the kind of person that i am obviously i love myself i mean good riddance but <laughs> i just wanted to i think that i was in a phase in my life where i just wanted to challenge myself a bit more so i went to this nice restaurant in santon and i really just went in there i couldn't believe it it was the whole experience was nice and everything so i just want to encourage you guys to also try that as well just travel like once a year with literally with no one but you but you but you have to let you know your family your friends about your whereabouts and all of that but just for you to just travel alone and just enjoy your own company when was the last time you had a compass an intimate conversation with yourself another thing that i do to find my happiness is i do retail therapy i get myself a nice lingerie try it on and just take cute pictures for myself and I also um, like to um, run like water in the bathtub and also put like foaming, foam bath and all that and flowers as well. And just listen to good music and just have me that time. It's, it's like I reward myself for that. So finding your happiness is all about doing things with self that has got nothing to do with other people. Maybe it's also like reading a book as well. And just educating yourself on things that you don't know. Probably it could be finances, economics, travel, food. Just things that can educate you uh, on things that you don't know. And things that you would like to have knowledge and experience on. So it's just all about doing things to help self. Things that would help you to just benefit you for the right reasons and just make you feel good so you might want to try out so like multiple things that you can do because i told you i went to this um restaurant and i also do retail therapy i also chill in the bathtub with oh good music flowers in there just for me it's like literally me time when i say find your happiness do all of those things that you enjoy doing that has got nothing to do with other people. Do things that make you feel good about you, right? It's not about just getting your hair and nails done. It's, it's about just getting to the real essence of like who you are as a person and tackling all of those challenges that you want to say, oh, yes, I did that. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's about trying out things that you know that challenge you, right? I want to get into like reading books. Uh, I want to try reading out finances and everything because I obviously want to have my own businesses one day. I'm, I'm working on that. So I just want to educate myself on finances and how to tackle that. So I think my next challenge right now is just 
reading more books about finances and just just finding my feet and yeah so it's all about finding your happiness you guys in biblical terms it's all about just doing things for self literally doing things for self by yourself with no one and i think the the minute i started practicing that for self i think that's when my confidence started you know just glistening okay so <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the next part because i think that this is like literally my favorite like segment of the video just finding your happiness so now we're gonna get into letting go the last part of the full pack which is letting go is right here so i'm just gonna read it to you guys so letting go the last part so it's all about you should not have to say anything about everything that you feel you have to say something about sometimes you just have to be quiet and be and and be quiet i mean you have to be non-reactive to, to certain things you don't have to be you have to be non-reactive don't talk about it and don't even think about it let's say you broke up with your partner right and and obviously it's fresh and everything you for you to start the let going process for you to actually understand what is actually happening let's say i'm just going to give you a practical example let's say the lot the last time your partner came over at your place this was your this was how your bedroom was looking like right so in order for you to process that 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 person who was in your life is no longer existing is no longer there you might want to change you know your your bedroom uh sheets and even not that they're dirty or anything but you just want to change certain things about your bedroom just to tell yourself just just so that your head could pick up that things are now just different and you are you, and now you are letting go of something or someone it's no longer the same you might want to change your curtains you might want to change your headboard put it in a, in a different direction it's all about letting go so to start letting go of things mentally you might want to start doing things physically by just changing things in your room and whatnot right and also part of letting go you have to like i said you have to be non-reactive to certain things so the things that make you feel some type of way you don't have to be reactive towards them you can like attack like you have to train your uh, guys i always say this right that you always have to train your mind to be stronger than your feelings or emotions logic over <laughs> emotions so part of letting go is all about just clearing your thoughts it's all about having a clear mind and understanding what it is right now it's not what it was and it's never going to be what it's going to be it is what it is right now and letting go is also about just you not saying anything about it i've also said this so how can i yeah it's all it's it's all about that just having a clear um mindset and understanding that the journey of letting go is never a quick thing like this it takes time you know because some people you could you could literally break up with someone and tell yourself that you have you guys are like literally done 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 but the mind is like no girl you're not done and you want to go back to those text text messages and just read them and make yourself go crazy and mad mad again all over so it's all a, the letting go process takes time however you have to embrace that phase or season in your life that okay i'm going through a hard time right now and i'm not okay so i'm gonna embrace this phase that i'm in right now and understand what the mm is going on and the minute i'm out of this season oh girl you better turn the music on because i know my story right so the part, part of letting go is literally just understanding the feelings of what it is 
that you're going through. Not being oblivious to it, but actually taking the initiative of like, what is really happening right now? Lungi, this is what's happening right now. I'm heartbroken. I'm hurt. I'm sad. Da -da 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 -da. You have to go through the whole nine when it comes to letting go. What are you letting go of? Why are you letting it go? You have to get into the crucial questions. Talk to yourself. Understand what you're really crying about. The minute you understand that you are going through a phase and it's going to be okay, and the minute you get out of that phase, because it takes some time now, don't rush into it, it takes time. The minute you get out of that phase, you'll be fully equipped with knowledge that you know, how can I avoid that feeling that I have experienced before? Now you have more knowledge in terms of what, not avoiding it, but you know what it takes for you to, you know what it takes for you to be in that position. And you try by all means to take accountability in everything that you find yourself in so that you don't play the victim card. I hope that didn't go over your head, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next. I'll see you guys next time on my next video. I love you. You already know. Period.